What's up, everybody? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, formal charge. And for any given atom in a compound or an ion or whatever, to get that atom's formal charge, you're going to take the valence electrons that that atom normally has, and you're going to subtract away the formal electrons. And to get the formal electrons, we refer to the lewis calculated line bond structures. And to get formal electrons, uh, each the formal electrons is going to be one per shared electron pair and two per lone electron pair. So formal charge tells us which atoms account for the charge in a polyatomic ion. So if you have, I don't know, let's say hydronium ion, uh, using formal charge you can actually tell which atom in the, uh, in the ion accounts for the charge. So uh, another tip when you're working with uh, you know, molecules and ions is that the sum of the formal charges is always going to be equal to the net charge of the ion or the molecule. So let's go through a couple of examples. Here we have the lewis calculated line bond structure for uh, hydrogen fluoride. Uh, notice you can see that all non-bonded electrons are shown, not just the bonded electrons, but the uh, non-bonded electrons are shown as well. So let's say we want to find the formal charge on the H atom. Well, remember that valence electrons, or excuse me, formal charge is going to be valence electrons minus formal electrons. So how many valence electrons does hydrogen have? One minus the number of formal electrons. Well, it would appear that hydrogen has one formal electron because it has one, it's sharing an electron pair and it has no lone pairs. So, in other words, it would be one plus two times zero. Zero lone pairs, one share, shared pair. And that's going to be equal to one minus one or zero. Okay. So now let's find the formal charge on the fluorine atom. Well, how many valence electrons does fluorine have? Fluorine has seven valence electrons minus the number of formal electrons. So it's seven minus, well, it would appear that, let's see, one per shared pair, that's going to be one, one electron. And two per lone pair, looks like we have one, two, three lone pairs. So three times two is equal to six electrons. So we actually have seven one plus six formal electrons on this fluorine atom here. So you end up getting seven minus seven or zero. Notice that this bond structure does not have any charge associated to it. There's no negative or plus over here, uh, which makes sense because the sum of the formal charges is, like I said, always equal to the net charge. So zero plus zero, that's going to be a net charge on HF of zero. So let's go on to another one. Hmm, let's see, what's a good one? How about... See that all right? And it's kind of a crappy drawing. Okay, so let's find out first the formal charge on the nitrogen atom. Okay, so how many valence electrons does nitrogen have? Nitrogen has five. And how many formal electrons does it have? Two per lone pair. It's got no lone pairs. One per shared pair. It looks like it has one, two, three, four shared pairs. So we're going to get 5 minus 4, which is equal to positive 1. So we can therefore assign a formal charge of positive 1 to the nitrogen atom. Okay, now it looks like we have three different oxygen molecules, oxygen atoms. Well, 
it would appear that we actually have two different ones and then two of them are equivalent. So in reality, there's going to be two different formal charges corresponding to the different nature of these atoms here. So first, what I want to do is I want to, I want to focus my attention on the formal charge of this one over here this oxygen over here. So how many valence electrons does oxygen have? Well, oxygen has six valence electrons. How many for formal electrons? It looks like we have two per lone pair, one per shared pair. So we have two lone pairs. Two times two is four. And then we have one per shared pair. Looks like we have two shared pairs here. A double bond is equal to two shared pairs. So it looks like we have six. So it's going to be six minus six and that equals zero. So we can conclude that this oxygen over here is not charged. But what about these two down here, though? If we count up valence electrons minus formal electrons, and there's two of these oxygens, by the way. OK, so let's calculate the formal electrons, or excuse me, the formal charge on these guys. Whoops, I forgot to draw a dot there. Okay, so it looks like we have two per lone pair, one per shared pair. That means we have three lone pairs. Three times two is going to be six electrons. Those are from lone pairs, and it looks like we have one from the shared pair. So it looks like we're going to have six valence electrons minus seven formal electrons, and that equals negative one. Oh, by the way, very important. This whole species has a charge of minus one. So with that in mind, I should have put that in there at the beginning, but with that in mind, we, we said that this oxygen down here has a formal charge of negative one. Well, since these two oxygens are equivalent, we can therefore assign them both a negative one charge. So if we check our answer here, what we can do, the way to check is to sum up the formal charges and see if they add up to this charge here, negative 1. So let's do that. Well, we said that the formal charge on the nitrogen is going to be positive 1. And the formal charge on this oxygen over here is 0, so plus 0. And then we said that each of these oxygens is going to be negative 1, so we have 1 plus 0 minus 1 minus 1, which is equal to 1 minus 2, or negative 1. So the formal charge, the sum of the formal charges, it does sort of agree with the overall charge on the ion. So that's how you get formal charges. Um, that technique will work every time. So good luck applying it, and let me know if you have any questions. All right, thanks.